Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman here with another video from my 22 series. About two years ago, I made a video titled The Amazing 22 Short. And ever since then, I've had several viewers that have commented and requested I make another video covering that subject. So in today's video, I'll be going into further detail and also showing you some of the ammunition that I have here behind me that I've collected through the years. But before I delve into it, let me also mention that I'll be particularly focusing on the 22 short hollow point, which is currently only being manufactured by CCI. In the history of the 22 short, I'll be showing you some of the very first cartridges that were ever invented and developed for that amazing little rimfire. And the very first ones were actually made in France, in Europe, in 1845, and they were called BB caps, and they were made specifically for the Flaubert rifle, which was a gallery-style rifle where folks would get together and have a good time and compete shooting at targets in gallery settings. And I've got some right here on the table. Now these are made in Germany. And I don't know if these are being made anymore, folks, but I'll go ahead and open these up and show you what's inside. These are probably the smallest rimfire cartridges that you've ever seen. So let me take the top off here and share this with you. I'll take one out here. There it is, folks. Little tiny cartridge, and it has a round lead projectile and uh, there's no powder at all in these cartridges. It's just a very generous amount of priming compound at the bottom of the uh, cartridge inside, and that's what propels that little tiny lead ball. The head of the cartridge here has an acorn stamped into it, or embossed actually, and I believe that these cartridge cases are made out of copper. But like I say, I don't know if these are being produced anymore. Now RWS also produced another type of cartridge in the same loading, only with a pointed projectile. And I've got some here on the table. I'll show you one here. There it is. And these were called CB caps, not to be confused with the modern day CCI CB cap, which was actually a 22 short, not as small as this. But these are quite effective and they can be used on vermin such as rats and uh, pests such as starlings, pigeons, anything like that, but it's pretty much a close range proposition. And of course they can also be used for informal plinking and target shooting. Still has the same acorn embossed on the head of the cartridge. Now the 22 short was first invented in 1857 and was made available in Smith & Wesson's first revolver, that's the Model 1, and it was chambered in 22 short. Now the first 22 short cartridges looked very much like what I've got here in my hand. This is also a very, very old cartridge. This one has a high-speed U stamped on the head there, and uh, what that stands for is United Metallic Cartridge Company back when Remington owned the Peters Cartridge Company. Um, we'll be discussing that more in greater detail. Here I've got the one cartridge that I'd really like to focus on. This is the 22 short hollow point, as you can see. And uh, these were quite potent. And the newer loadings still are, you know, made by CCI. There was another cartridge that came out in 1871, that's the 22 long, which incorporated the same bullet as the 22 short did, which was a 29 grain bullet, but it had a longer case, just like the modern day 22 long rifle. But we're gonna skip over that cartridge for now because I'm really wanting to focus on today's subject matter. So let me give you a close up of all the cartridges that I've got here on the table, and then I'll give you a breakdown and then we'll do a little bit of shooting. Now here on the table I've got a variety of 22 short 
rimfire cartridges, some of which is currently available, such as this CCI 22 short, and also this Aguila 22 super extra short. Some of it is uh, round nose ammunition, and some of it is hollow point. And uh, a lot of this ammunition is quite old, such as this box that I have here. This is Stay Clean, made by Sears Roebuck and Company. I'll open this box up, show you what's inside. Try to be careful with these old boxes. I don't want to rip it more than it already is. But there's the cartridges. Just have a kind of a roundish, semi-pointed lead head. And I would say they probably still shoot, but I really hate to shoot them up because they've become quite a collectible. Nothing stamped on the head of that cartridge, if you've not noticed, but uh, I'm not even sure who made these. But like I said, they were offered by the Sears Roebuck and Company. It says here, lead lubricated number 330. Not sure what all that means, but these date way back, I'm sure. Then I have some old Remington ammunition here. Here we have some uh, of their famous Golden Bullet. This was back when uh, I think Remington partnered up with DuPont, as you can see right here on the package. And they have this U stamped on the head of the cartridge case here. That stands for United Metallic Cartridge Company. And they're pretty much the same bullet as what's available nowadays. Here's the current version of Remington's Golden Bullet. I'll get one of these out. Now, if you've noticed, they have an REM, or REM, stamped on to the head of the cartridge, but very similar. They have that same golden wash to the bullet. These are also solid round nose bullets. And I would say they probably perform very, very much the same. These were made in uh, Lone Oak, Arkansas. And I believe these are all still currently available. And then here, let me leave one of these out. Here I've got some hollow point, Remington high speed hollow point with the same type of golden bullet, only these are a lighter bullet due to the hollow point configuration, as you can see there. Both of them have that U stamped onto the head of the cartridge. I would say both have the same powder charge, only the hollow point is more suited for small game use because it does actually expand. And then later on, uh, Remington made their 22 short in these green boxes, these green and yellow boxes. That's that Remington Green, that famous Remington Green they came out with. These actually have rim stamped on to the head of the cartridge, but they're hollow point as you can see. Remington also owned the Peters Cartridge Company. Here you can see the DuPont logo on the side of the box. That's 22 short hollow point. High velocity, same cartridge really, just a different box. Peters at one time was an entity unto itself and they made a lot of ammunition and uh, supplied that to our military during the First and Second World War. Then later on, until just not too recently, um, Remington offered these CB-22 low-velocity cartridges at a copper wash bullet, as you can see. I don't have many of these left. These have become quite a collectible. 
but they also have that REM stamped onto the cartridge head. And like I said in the first video, I used to shoot these a lot. These were really accurate out of my guns. And then there were other offerings such as this 22 short high speed by Montgomery Ward. These were made by Federal actually. As you can see, there's an F stamped on the head of that cartridge. This was back when department stores like Montgomery Wards and Kmart and uh, other similar stores, TGNY, when they were still around, they used to offer ammunition and guns in their sporting goods. That was during a time when there weren't that many threats against the Second Amendment. but. Uh, that's a topic for another video. And then Winchester came out with their Super X short hollow point. Here's a full box of them here. These are still in really good shape, as you can see. It was a copper washed hollow tip, 27 grain bullet with Super X stamped onto the head of the cartridge. And these remained pretty much unchanged throughout the years while they were producing these cartridges. They just had different boxes. Here's a later version, Super X, 22 short hollow point. A lot of you guys out there that are up in years probably remember some of these boxes. And then some of them came out with this warning sign, keep out of reach of children, which is a good warning, so, <laughs> but there's another full box of 22 short hollow point, and I think they made these back in the 1960s, that's about when they date back, and then they made this white colored box with the Super X either in red or in yellow. Here you can see these are also 22 short hollow point. Same cartridge as I showed you a while ago. I still use these on occasion, on special occasions anyway. I'll go ahead and open this box, show you those. These are in really good shape to be as old as they are. I've shot several of these out of these older boxes and have had no misfires. I've actually harvested some squirrels with these old cartridges. And then back in the day when I used to really get involved in squirrel hunting, when I first started, this is what I used right here, folks. These were available until 1996. They're no longer being made. Winchester no longer makes a 22 short hollow point. But these were very effective. No telling how many squirrels I've harvested, rabbits and squirrels, with these 22 short hollow point cartridges. And the reason I like these is because they actually do expand. I've got a couple of bullets that I saved out of game that I actually harvested. Now this is the bullet made by Super X Winchester. That's after I took it out of the case. And here's some that I actually recovered from small game when I was cleaning the game. And as you can see, they're fully mushroomed, fully expanded. A lot of times the bullet just goes right through a squirrel or a rabbit, but every now and then you can recover these. And I saved these for this video. Federal also made a 22 short. Here I have a box of Federal's high power. Of course, these were not hollow point. These were just solid point. As you can see, round nose. You can use these round nose ones on small game too. You just won't get any expansion. I would probably keep my shots in the head and chest area if I was to use these, as you should anyway. You should be able to anchor small game pretty quickly with this stuff. It's just that the 22 short hollow point is more effective. Here I have some Hawthorne copper coated 22 short. These are also made by Federal. 
pretty much the same as the Montgomery Ward high speed cartridges. There you can see the F on the head stamp there. It says here range one mile, be careful. <laughs> so the 22 short is also a force to be reckoned with. But since I was talking about these Federals, I thought I'd include these as well out of my collection. Here's another Remington Golden Bullet hollow point actually made by Peters. Two different types of Peters boxes here. This is another full box of short hollow point. The short hollow point has always been a favorite of mine because it's just so effective and it really anchors small game very cleanly. That's the reason I wanted to feature it in this video. But what I use nowadays is this right here, folks. This is the 22 short hollow point by CCI. It has a 27 grain hollow point bullet rated at 1,105 feet per second. And that's a highly effective little cartridge. And I'm so thankful that CCI still makes these because all the other manufacturers have stopped making them, you know. I'll show you just how effective these are. We're going to be shooting some of these into some expansion material. And uh, we'll see just how well they perform. Okay, first of all, what I've got on the table here is a comparison of this Winchester Super X 22 hollow point long rifle. And as you can see, it has a very generous hollow tip there. It shoots about 1.8 to 2 grains of this ball slash flake type powder that Winchester has always offered. And in comparison, here is what used to be available, the 22 short hollow point. There's the bullet in comparison with that bullet, which is currently available. You can see it's a little bit longer there. And then here's a cross section of those two bullets. This is the short hollow point, and that's the power point that's currently available. And as you can see, that uh, short hollow point has a very cavernous hollow nose there. And these were very, very effective for use on small game. No telling how many squirrels were harvested with that little cartridge right there in the past. But sadly, they're no longer in production. Okay, next we have the Remington version of the 22 short hollow point. In comparison to what's currently available with the 22 long rifle hollow point. Here you can see the comparison. Both of these have a flake type powder. The short is a little bit darker in coloration, so it's a slightly different mixture there. But you can see that's quite a bit of powder compared to the 22 long rifle high velocity loading. For a 22 short cartridge, you know, you can draw your own conclusions there. So you know that it's driving that little 27 grain bullet really fast. And here's a cross section of both bullets. As you can see, the long rifle is, of course, longer, but very comparable in terms of the shape of the hollow tip. These are really good performing bullets, and I haven't used Remington all that much, but I did do some squirrel hunting with these years ago, and they shot really well. And just like with the Winchester, sadly, the short hollow point in the Remington version is no longer available, no longer being manufactured. Okay, next up, we've got two different loadings here by CCI. The first one being the ever popular 22 long rifle mini mag hollow point. And here we have the CCI 22 short high velocity hollow point. And here's a cross section of both bullets. Just like the Winchester bullet, 
the uh, short hollow point has a very cavernous hollow cavity there designed for maximum expansion and rapid expansion actually. And then here you can see that the uh, mini mag is not quite as generous in their hollow point but they do expand very well. The mini mag has about 1.9 to 2 grains of this shiny flake type powder and the 22 short loading has this really dark black flake type powder still a pretty good amount for a 22 short cartridge in comparison and unlike the other two I just showed you these are still available so you can go to the store if you can find them and get 22 short high velocity hollow point by CCI okay guys I'm gonna test the CCI short high velocity hollow point with a couple of different rifles I've got here for accuracy and then we're going to check for expansion with all three different types of hollow points that I featured just previously. So let's get started. We're going to try my Remington bolt action here first and then I've got a Marlin 39A here in lever action. So let's see how well these rifles can handle that particular cartridge. Okay guys, down here at 30 yards I've got a couple of targets pinned up and we're going to see how accurate the 22 short hollow point can be at that distance with a couple of different rifles. First up I'm going to shoot the Marlin 39A at the target on the left. I'm shooting a little bit to the left. All right. Next up, we got the Remington bolt action. The target on the right. like one went a little bit low. Let's try that again folks. Now that these guns are starting to get leaded in, I want to shoot another five shot group with each one. Okay here we go again. Five more shots for each rifle. I've got new targets pinned up there. Once again the first rifle will be the Marlin 39A on the target that's on the left. I moved the sights a little bit to the right. Let's see how much difference it made here. That was interesting. Looked like all three of the last shots all grouped to the right just a little bit clustered together there okay now for the next target on the right this is with the bolt action Remington those rounds sound a little bit different coming out of this rifle as you've probably noticed Okay guys, now I want to put out some of this ballistic putty and we're going to see how well 
the hollow point cartridges will expand as compared to a solid nose cartridge. So let me go ahead and get it set out and we'll take a few shots. Okay, first shot, we're going to try the CCI 22 short high velocity round nose. There you can see I've got my ballistic putty at 30 yards. Okay, the next shot is going to be the CCI 22 short hollow point. And we'll make a comparison. Okay, guys, both bullets were captured. I'm going to make a cross section here of this ballistic putty. That's some really dense material. As I was saying, this is some really dense material and it's hard to get through. But I think we can manage. dense enough to stop a 22 bullet anyway okay here's the solid nose it did mushroom some in this material as you can see I think in the first video I used wet newspaper and uh, it was actually better than this in in terms of being a good comparison for use on game. Now here's the hollow point and as you can see it totally separated. Look at that folks. There's the base of the bullet. And there's the top of the bullet. Completely mushroomed inside out. Okay, next up we're going to try the Remington Golden Bullet, this time the round nose. Okay, this time we're going to use the Remington Hollow Point short, high velocity. Check those out and see what happened there. Okay, that's quite a bit of difference between the two rounds. The initial impact of that hollow point Remington was more than double than for the solid point or the round nose. So let's get a cross section here as well. It's a little bit cold today, folks, so this stuff is quite a bit denser. It's actually below freezing. Let's see if I can cut through this stuff. I can actually see that bullet down there, the hollow point. You can literally see the bullet there at the bottom of that hole. 
it didn't penetrate nearly as deep as the solid point and it had much more of an impact. I'll just dig these bullets out because this stuff is just too dense to cut through right now. There you can see a beautifully mushroomed bullet with the hollow point. And then the solid tip bullet was about the same as the Winchester. A little bit of mushrooming going on there, but nothing like that right there. <clears throat> Normally these don't mushroom at all on game, but uh, you can see the comparison anyway. Okay, and for this final test, I'm going to use this Winchester 22 short high velocity round nose and see how well it performs on that ballistic putty down there. All right, here we go. Now we're going to shoot the same loading in the 22 short high velocity hollow point Super X. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, I went in the kitchen and uh, stole one of my wife's <laughs> kitchen knives. I think this would be better to actually get a good cross section and get an idea of what these bullets are doing with this ballistic putty. Yeah, that's much better. Don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with. There you can see this is really dense material so it's kind of an unfair uh, comparison but uh, here's the solid point or round nose I should say in uh, Winchester high velocity short it flattened quite a bit actually and then here's the hollow point you can see the wound channel is about the same with this particular brand of ammunition now this doesn't make uh, this probably doesn't matter much to you unless you have a bunch of this ammunition still laying around because they no longer make this but that's a beautiful mushroom as you can see all three brands the CCI the Remington and the Winchester mushroomed beautifully I mean very effective and just like I said in the first video that is why this is one of my favorite hunting cartridges the 22 short high velocity hollow point okay I've combined all the powders from the different loadings that I just showed you and we're gonna burn it and just see how fast the burn rate is on this 22 caliber powder that's just a combination of the different manufacturers but it's all pretty much the same this is the kind of stuff you don't see on other channels folks <laughs> well guys it's getting a little bit late in the day so it's time for me to end the video but before I go I want to discuss these targets with you a little bit. The first two here were shot using my Marlin 39A. The first target you can see here, the bullets kind of spread out a little bit and they tended to shoot a little bit to the left. So I think I overcorrected the scope a little bit. I moved it to the right and then the first two shots, they landed to the left. And then right after that, I fired three shots and they all clustered into one little ragged hole. So I think that that barrel was just starting to really get leaded in for that particular cartridge. And then the other two targets here were shot using my Remington bolt action model 581. This was the first target and as you can see most of the shots went right in there around the bullseye. One of them straight out of the group just a little bit. And then the next five shot group was this one right here 
I've got two bullets just at the bottom of the center ring there, and then three of them clustered right in there around dead center, you know, close to dead center anyway. So that little rifle has always performed really well with just about anything that I feed it. The Remington 581, they're well known for being extremely accurate. And being able to shoot 22 short ammo like that, you know, I have no problem at all taking that little rifle into the woods and going squirrel hunting with it. And in terms of terminal performance, the Winchester here did quite well. I think it performed just as well as the CCI short hollow point and the Remington also. You know, it's just a shame that those two manufacturers are no longer producing the 22 short hollow point. I don't know why they ever stopped. I guess sales may have dropped off and the 22 long rifle pretty much overshadowed that loading, but it would be nice if they brought them back because they're great little performers. And that brings me to another subject before I go. Is the 22 short still a viable cartridge? In my opinion, absolutely. There are certain situations where a 22 long rifle hollow point, in high velocity especially, is just a tad too much. You know, especially when you're in a rural area where there may be farmhouses close by or whatever, the 22 short hollow point would be a safer choice, in my opinion. And really, it's all that's necessary to be able to anchor squirrels and rabbits cleanly. You know, if you go out in a, after a snowfall, for example, and you're tracking uh, cottontail rabbits with your 22, that's a great sport, you know, and using a 22 short hollow point is just the ideal choice for someone like myself. And uh, if you've got a good, accurate little rifle, you ought to be able to make headshots every time, thereby not ruining any meat. So I absolutely love the 22 short hollow point, and that was the basis of this video. And with that, I wanted to make a comparison with different brands of ammunition and what was once available as compared to what is now available and uh, how it performs at normal hunting ranges. And if you've got an accurate little 22 like I've got here on the table and you can go out and find you some 22 short hollow point ammunition, I urge you to give it a try. Always test your gun Make sure it shoots it accurately, first of all. And then if you like to go small game hunting, by all means, you can partake and have a lot of fun doing that. So with that being said, remember, if you like to go hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, hiking, whatever your outdoor pursuit may be, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. But also remember, hit that like button, smash the bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this one will be coming your way. This is the Cumberland Outdoorsman wishing you well. Y'all take care and I'll see you next time. Oh hey guys, I almost forgot. I promised you I'd shoot some of these CB caps. So let's get them loaded in this little Remington. I've got a few cans set up downrange. And uh, see how well this stuff shoots. Get focused in here. All right, here we go. I see evaporated milk can down there. Let's give it a try. As you can tell, that wasn't very loud. All right, I see a blue can off to the left there. Let's try it out. Wow, those are faster than I think the regular CB sh uh, shorts by CCI. These are probably the smallest cartridges I've ever shot. Now there's an orange soda can right there next to that evaporated milk can. I see Mr. Prairie Dog down there. We're going to give him a try, too. He's a little bit...
bit further away. Hey, that actually connected. <laughs> Well, folks, I'm sorry it's a little bit dark, but that was using this vintage tiny 22 ammunition, the little CB caps. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, we'll see you next time.